All right, hey, what's going on, everybody? Gratuitous here. Got some big news for you guys. I just released two books on Amazon. Uh, one is called FL Studio Beginner's Book, and the other one is called FL Studio Ultimate Template Creation Guide. Um, I'll be talking about both quickly in this video, but I mainly want to focus on this FL Studio Beginner's Book, okay? So this book took me about a year to complete. Uh, usually for myself, like when I have an idea like that I want to accomplish, usually I bang it out pretty quick. Like, you know, a lot of these books, they take me about maybe two to three months. Uh, but this FL Studio Beginners book, why it took me so long was, you know, I got started on it and then I kind of had to restructure like, you know, just, I just found it was really jumpy. And so like, I think I ended up doing that like two or three times. So like, you know, I, I pretty much got the book to complete. And as I would actually read through it, I was just kind of like, I wasn't really happy with, um, the structure, but it's done. It's finished. It turned out absolutely great. There's tons and tons of pictures inside this book. Okay. So it's actually 160 pages. So it's my biggest book yet. It, it, it's around 160 pages, uh, but this is now on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. If you guys want to check it out, one really, really cool image. I did this myself in Photoshop. Let's see if, yeah, there, there it was. So I just like talk about series and parallel processing inside the book. If we just look at like the table of contents here quickly though, for what's covered inside of this book, I talk about, you know, why choosing FL Studio for your DAW is so awesome. Okay. And really, you know, lifetime updates, amazing support from their company. They really treat us as producers really, really well. I talked to you about uh, using FL Studio's help manual, actually how beneficial it is, actually how to use FL Studio in like the music production program. We talk about the step sequencer, piano roll, playlist, mixer. And I even talked to you about my own music production folder, which I've created over the years. Like I even have a course uh, about that inside my membership. Uh, but I also included it you know, just the process inside this book, because it's really important that you structure yourself with a music production folder when you're first starting up, because uh, it will save you a lot of time and headaches and prevent missing files and all that stuff. Now, the second book here is about my FL Studio template, okay? So a template is so beneficial. Uh, in my experience, it doesn't matter if it's FL Studio, if you're editing videos, um, you know, in Photoshop, whatever. Uh, it's really, really important to set up a template so it saves you time from all these tedious tasks, such as like opening up like a limiter or like a metering plugin or an EQ or whatever, right? In my experience, when I first started doing these templates, I was like, oh, I'm gonna set everything up. I'm gonna get this huge template and make it super easy. But what I discovered was, you know, a couple of years later, I realized now I start working differently than what I did like three years ago. But the problem is, I may be working on those projects from three years ago because for myself, like I create beat tapes, right? So when I create these beat tapes, I usually release about 11 tracks at a time. And sometimes I go into like my old catalog of beats and sometimes I go through them and be like, oh, I really like that beat. I wanna add it onto this beat tape. Long behold, it was my old template that I was using, okay? So the whole idea behind this book is about creating a template that evolves with you through like your journey as a music producer so that when you actually create this template, you want to be thinking about efficiency. You want to be thinking about good decisions versus bad decisions. And I break that down all throughout this book. Okay. So again, this is separate from the FL Studio Beginners book. The Beginners book is more about uh, how to use FL Studio, but it's not just for beginners. It's also like learning about keyboard shortcuts, workflow, why I do things the way I do it inside of FL Studio. Uh, this book is again about like the template and workflow. Let me read this to you. Okay. So this is like a little page I put at the front of the book. And what I said was, please note, my description of this growing template is from my own workflow. Uh, how I describe my template when producing music relates to how I make music. So for example, I typically mix and master in the same project where industry practice is to export, you know, like your actual WAV file and render it all, you know, like, so to master, like, you know, an album many times, they will export all the individual files, put that into another project and then master it. But over my years, I've usually just kind of mixed and mastered inside that same FL Studio file uh, for that same project. And then I just kind of uh, go in between each song, just listen to like the balance. I've actually found that to be a much faster workflow since I have total control myself. Um, so the last paragraph here is important is important too. So it says the goal of this book is to reveal how to think when creating a template, not so much tricks for a template, okay? So there are a few tricks here and there, but my goal is to teach you to be mindful of your thoughts today as they affect your music projects of tomorrow. The whole goal behind this book was to teach you about my evolving template and how my very, very beginning stages, how I did certain things, which really hindered me nowadays. You know, if I go to make a, you know, if I'm working on like a beat tape, there's certain things that I did 
again, such as like opening up certain plugins. And the problem with that is like, if you make a super big template that you're trying to solve all issues inside of that template, the actual project uh, loads slow, right? Like, you know, so it's like, let's say you want to go from one project to the next project. It's like, now you have to wait like that 30, 45 seconds. And like, I know it's like, it's not that big of a deal, but you know, when you're flowing, you do just want that project to have like, you know, that 10 second load up, you know, but when I first started, you know, uh, you know, I, I tried to create all these different subgroups, all these different inserts with EQs and compressors on it because I was like, oh, I'm going to save myself all these clicks. And again, it kind of hindered me because some of these plugins I don't use anymore. Uh, and also, you know, I just load up that file and it just takes extra long. Uh, in addition, it's also extra like, you know, processing power, you know, you you have these different plugins loaded up. Uh, it just adds more weight onto the project that's unnecessary. So uh, I will leave both links in the description below. This is a huge, you know, milestone for me, especially this book. If you guys purchase, you know, please leave a review on Amazon. I'd really, really appreciate that. If you guys want to stay up to date with me, sign up to the membership. Okay. There's a monthly as well as a lifetime access. Um, whatever route you want to take. The lifetime access is just one time payment. You guys can join like the forum. There's currently 23 music production courses on FL Studio. And I'm always, you know, kind of getting feedback from you guys from new courses to create. I have a whole list of different courses I want to tackle here pretty soon. So thanks for watching. And I will talk to you guys another time.